What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming, bringing you a guide on how to come back in Rumble when you join the game late. Man, I'm telling you this happens so often and you guys are wondering why why can't I get in a game that starts from the beginning, whether it be Rumble, Clash, Supremacy, any playlist, the only playlist that you have to join in when it's fresh is Trials of Osiris, obviously. But that's because the player base in Destiny has gone down significantly. Yes, the content is a bit stale. However, in my last video, I talked about December 13th, the dawning event is coming. Bunch of new information. Go check that video out if you haven't. It's on the channel. I'll link it below as well in the description. It's freaking awesome. A lot of new stuff is coming. Anyways, so I joined the game late. It took a second to be like, oh shit, I have the wrong loadout. I have a shotgun and a hand cannon on a map on one of the biggest maps in the game. Now, obviously, if I switch my shotgun to a sniper, I'm going to lose my ammo. So I had to make do with what I had. And my main thing in my head was... I got to make sure I close the gap because I'm not going to win long distance fights, but I will win most, if not all, close range fights. Now, you got to keep that in mind. That mentality will get you places, my friends. That ability to switch your play style. Now, this guy has distance on me. I tried to challenge him. I almost killed him, but I lost. He had a scout rifle, bully and Gemini, I believe. And me, I had a hand cannon. I had a grenade on him, but there wasn't much I could do. So you got to understand your play style it has to change your movement across the map has to change i'm not the smartest player in the game right now running through popular lanes like mid lane but now that i get to the outskirts of maps i can get behind people and flank around them pretty much be a surprise peekaboo on these guys now granted these guys aren't the best people in the game and also i didn't join the game too late i mean the top person on the scoreboard had 700 and i joined with zero there have been games where i've joined when the person had 1800 points and i came back and won granted you know hey picks are didn't happen yeah i don't have the picks but i'll make it happen again i'm sure i can now remember in rumble outside of other playlists in rumble confidence is very very important you want to approach the game as though you can take on people one-on-one -on -one and beat them. Now, it's very important in Rumble, you have to be able to win your one-on-ones. Granted, there'll be times where you get double teamed and triple teamed, and if you die, that's okay. But you also have to keep in mind that if you're in a one-on-one -on -one and you can't win, it's okay to just divert for a little bit and come back. The reason why I say that is if you divert for a little bit, the person who's trying to kill you will most likely engage in another battle because what there's about six people in a rumble match hopefully if there's less then you better keep running buddy but i mean most of the time there's about six people in the rumble match you want to make sure that you come back just take take a pause for a second back up now make sure you're listening have most people have gaming headsets or if you have headphones make sure you just turn up the volume a little bit and listen if you notice your opponent that was trying to kill you engage in another gunfight then you can come back and most likely either clean up a kill or get both kills, which happens to me a lot, um, which is not a good thing. Hopefully I can do that to other people as well. Getting crossfires in Rumble has got to be my biggest pet peeve. Like lately I've been playing Rumble matches and I've gotten like 10 crossfires and what crossfires are, they're assists in the Rumble match. They're absolutely horrible. So this game I just got on after like two days. I got on and get in and got, joined the game late and I was like, you know what? Let's make the best of this game. One of my main concerns and complaints in Destiny is that this game does not really reward people based on their performance uh, in terms of you know being on the top of the leaderboards, which sucks. Uh, I think they should change that. I think they should make it you know more incentive for people. I mean, if they have skill-based matchmaking already, then they should make it an incentive to to for people to do well in the game and then get in return get great rewards, right? Hopefully, we'll see some good changes in Destiny coming up soon. Um, regardless of the uh, of the fact, you want to make sure that you have the right loadout. Even if you don't have the right loadout, you want to play it smart. Now, what I could have done is, when special ammo does pop up, what I can do is I can switch to my sniper rifle and then pick up the special ammo. Um, granted, the it doesn't always work out, obviously, but maps like these where special pops up, 
pretty frequently, I could have done it. Uh, I was just doing so well closing the gap on these individuals with my hand cannon and shotgun that it really made no sense for me to make the switch because I was playing a very aggressive game. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this game helps you go and conquer the Rumble world. I think Rumble is a great playlist to... You know have full awareness of what's going on around you um it's not just a team-based thing it's just you lone survivor so i really hope the video helped make sure you guys check out stay till the end i have a little banner for the giveaway we're doing if we can reach 50,000 subscribers on youtube that would be amazing a console giveaway it's going to be awesome make sure you like the video subscribe if you haven't and then put your twitter handle below in the comments you guys can also see um, what my Twitter, Twitch, and all that stuff is in the description below. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Peace.